Chantelle from Honey Fizz Training and I'm here to help you get further, faster in facial aesthetics. Today's video is about helping you to reconstitute your ASLOR ready for injection. If you're coming on one of our training courses, you'll have one of our pre-injection packs and we'll explain all the contents coming up. So what you'll get in your pre-injection training pack is you'll have two of these. These are your injection record sheets. So you can see here is reconstitute with 0.63 mil. In your pack, you'll also receive an injection sheet, just like this one. So you get an idea of how we draw up the azalore and the saline and how we go about choosing the correct volumes according to the dose. So if you take a look here, we've got dose on one side and we've got volume on another. What we've got here is we've got your insulin syringe and we've got your azalore syringes. Now on the training day, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use five insulin syringes. Okay. Very important that when you open your syringe is that you give them a little prime because the product can sometimes, maybe the plunger can get a little bit sticky. Now, we're not going to send these out in the post to your bacteria static safety. What I want you to get at home is if you could get a glass of water that can mimic your bacteria static saline. And what you'll have in your pre-injection pack is you'll have an insulin syringe and your azalor syringe. And if you remember, it has the marking with the 0.63 mil. Now, you're not going to be sent the green needle, but if you mimic your drawing up from here, I would normally in clinic be drawing up 0.63 mil. What's important is when you're doing that, Remember the end of the plunger, the flat end must reach the line. So I'm just going to push it up ever so slightly. And what you need is your product to reach the tip. So if I just push it forward again, you can see there's product there at the end of the needle. Okay, so I've got 0.63 mil. Is I want you to use your glass of water and imagine that you're drawing up 0.63 mil. So you can do that at home. Now, of course, what you're going to do is you're going to have your dummy azalor vial and then you can deposit your 0.63 mil in here. Now, in reality, what you're going to do is you're going to have the bung on the top and you're going to put the needle into the vial. Then is you're going to have a, a box of azalor, maybe um, with two in a box. And they come like this, so you'll have the blue lid and you'll have a metal rim around the bung. A little bit like, I won't pull that cap off right now, a little bit like the saline rim. And so what you'll need to do is you need to pull the cap off this. In your starter kit, you'll find that you get a decapper. So you'll be able to pull that metal cap off your azalor vial. So you're going to drop your saline and you're going to put it with your needle into the bun. So once you've taken your cap off, you can then draw up your azalor. Turn the gap in the label towards you and once you can see that you've got to put your needle into the into the vial and you can just see the tip of the needle here placing it in the vial careful not to hit the bottom because we don't want to blunt the needle first and we want to wedge the syringe here in the neck of the bottle so my best advice is for you to just tilt it so that it doesn't move up or down, so it's wedged in there, and then withdraw back. And if you practice doing that at home, that'll be really helpful for your training day. During your treatment, you'll be using five insulin syringes, and there'll be one for each treatment area that you're treating. First of all, you'll use one syringe for the left eye, and a separate syringe for the right eye. We'll use another syringe for the frown, and a separate syringe then for the forehead. And if you're coming on our combined training day, you'll also have included the bunny lines here. So we'll use a separate syringe for that. So I want you to practice drawing up for each one of those injection points. You'll see that you also get a sheet just like this one. It's color coded so that you can draw up each injection area. Different customers have different doses. What we've done here is we've put some typical doses onto the sheet just so you can practice drawing those up. If this video has been helpful to you, hit the like button and if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below.